Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well we've got a scroll effect for you today. If I roll down this page, we've been making some hover effects on there. Keep your eyes on that picture at the bottom there. It's a picture of a tree in the sea. When we roll up, it's going to swap into a different image. There we go. And it's now the picture of the dolphins there. Roll back down and it's going to switch back. Really easy to do the scroll effect. There's no coding involved today. We're just using the inbuilt features of the great Divi theme itself. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder. Okay, once loaded, let's go down to where we want to work. And I've got a row here with that switching image in it and it's got two columns in it. This will work for any size column you want to do. So let's add an image module and the image module here is the one that we're going to see at the top. And we'll have a different one on the bottom there. So I'm going to add an image. Let's choose an image to put in there. There's our image. Now the way a lot of these sort of image swap type effects work is you've got one image in the actual module itself that we're looking at here and you've got another one in the column that it resides in. So let's add another one to the column and the one we add to the column is the one you're going to see first when it's down at the bottom of the screen. So let's save what we've got here. We'll go into our row. I'm working with two columns. First one's the left one. Second one's the right one. I'm going to go into the right one. I'm going to add a background. I'm going to add a background image. We've got color, gradient, image, or video. And let's use that one right there. Okay, so of course you can't see it because our image is on top. But the effect we want to create, let's just save this and save our row, is that when it's down the bottom here, we want to see the one that's in the background there, the sort of red sky, when it rolls up, we want it to morph into this one when it gets to about 75% or so up here. So let's make that happen. We're going to go back into the actual module itself. And we're going to go to advanced. Down the bottom of the advanced, you'll find scroll effects. Now you've got vertical motion, horizontal motion, obviously that's going to move it left and right, up and down with that one. Fading in and out, we're going to use this that for this today. You can scale it up and down, make it larger or smaller, you can rotate it or blur it out. I want to use the fading, so I'm going to click on the fade tab right there and hit the little switch that says enable fading in and out. Great. So actually if I scroll all the way down now, it's going to fade out into that image automatically, but it's a little too low down for me. Then when we scroll back up, it's got our sort of lake image in right there. So let's get it how we want it. We've got a little viewport line here. And we can make it bigger, smaller, however we want. So I'm going to drag the bottom to about, say, 40%. As you see, this top number is the number I'm looking at. There we are. So it's going to stay at 0% until it gets 40% up the screen. So if I do that now, you can see that picture fully. And we scroll up, it's starting to change right about there. I'm going to move the actual middle one up to about 55 and I'm going to change that 100%. I don't want it to be 100% visible at 55 which is sort of around here. I want it to be sort of 50%. So I'm going to change that 100% down the bottom there to 50. I'm simply going to type in 50. It'll put in the percent for you. So we've got to sort of morph between the two pictures right about there. And then I don't want it to wait till it gets all the way to the top because it's kind of only fully visible when we get right up to the top there. So I want to drag this side down to 
probably around 70 75 percent there we go right there that's the number I'm looking at 70 percent so now if I roll that back down it's fully visible right here starting to morph there and the background image this one is fully visible right there now if you wanted to you could add blur effects and things like that as well but that's all I really wanted to do with this today so both those images are going to change when they get to 70% of the viewport and the viewport by the way is the viewable area of your screen whatever screen you're looking at it on alright so if we save this now and take a look it should have achieved that effect for us save that we'll save our page changes let's exit the visual builder we're going to roll on down there's those dividers animated that we did a few videos ago there's our two original pictures there we scroll up slowly you can see them morph into the new images and the new images are fully visible there at about 70 percent if we slow it down a little bit with our little slider down here there's one there's the other that would be a nice little effect you could do that for a sort of before and after image if you wanted to But that's a nice little eye-catching feature to have on your site that's going to get people's attention and that's what you want with the site you want to get people's attention with it so there you go guys that's how to morph one image into another image on scroll using the fantastic inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself and take a look at our other things we got hover effects and things have a look at our hover effects playlist if you want to learn how to do any of these hover effects and again most of these have been done without coding a couple of them you just need a little bit of code and we've got our animated background dividers there as well so there you go i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day.